Hey guys, in this video, we are going to be talking about one of the scariest moments for a junior developer. His first week as a junior developer working for a company. I know some of you guys are probably stressing out and some of you guys might be like all nervous and like, oh my God, what's it really gonna be? Am I gonna have to do something difficult? Are they gonna throw me in the deep end? Like, how does this work? I've never worked as a developer, it's my first job. How is it, right? So let's talk about it. All right guys, so let's get into it. It's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Your boy is back and out and did it again one more time. I know you guys are stressing right now. I know you just probably went into that job interview and you probably was nervous, but somehow they called you back and they said, you know what, can you start Monday, right? And now you're stressing because <laughs> today is, Thursday or today is Sunday and it's tomorrow that your first day at work. What's it really going to be like? You need to calm down, right? Calm down, take it easy. You know why? Because the person that hired you believed in you. The person that hired you knows you're a junior developer. The person that is giving you this opportunity already told everybody, right? Everybody knows, right? Your other developers that's gonna be next to you, they know you're a junior developer. The design team knows you're a junior developer. The marketing team knows you're a junior developer. The CEO, the project manager, they know you're a junior developer, okay? And it's fine. They hire you because they see something good in you. They see that you have the skills. They see that you have potential and they believe in you. So take it easy. Now, let's talk about how your first week is gonna run, okay? First of all, they're gonna introduce you to everybody. Okay, this is one of the most awkward moments of your whole career, right? You're gonna have to go meet up with uh, the guy that's sitting down in a corner that he don't talk to nobody. He might have a hoodie on. That guy, he might be a back-end developer. It's okay, leave him alone. You'll bother him later on, right? You might go in and have to meet the design team, right? It might be some young girl, talking about, hi, hi, how are you, da, 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 you know, super uppity beat, right, conversation type things, like, oh, hi, welcome to the, the company, this, this, and that, right? It's, there's gonna be a lot of awkward situations and a lot of weird conversations. But beyond that, let's talk about what's it gonna be for you once you are settled from meeting everybody. Here's the cafeteria, here's where we have the coffee, here's where the bathrooms are. Right? Uh, we, we have lunch at 11.45. You can take your lunch for 45 minutes to an hour, right? After they explain all of those little things like that, right, you're probably going to meet up with HR, right? Things like, let's say, for example, your health insurance, right? Uh, things like, uh, where do you live, right? They're going to ask you, like, little things like that, like, oh, can you bring in your Social Security card? Can you bring in this information, sign this W-2, da 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 W-4, whatever, whatever form they're giving you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They're going to give you all of that. Okay, now that's the first day. That's the first day, nobody's expecting you to code anything. Now, what they will expect for you is to be able to go in and they're gonna tell you, hey, this is our stack. This is what we use, okay? You need to set up a development environment for Python and install this packages. Hey, uh, we're using Node.js. Download this and install that. Set that up. Here's your computer. Here's your, your laptop. Here's your MacBook Pro. Here's your iMac. Whatever it is that they're going to give you, right? Remember this. This is the first day. The first day is going to be just pretty much meeting people, understanding how the company is, you know, who's who, right? You might become friends with somebody. Uh, they might put you in, in pair with another developer that has been working there for a while. So they might put you in there and, and just to pretty much teach you the ropes. Now, the hardest part, I think, in the first week is setting everything up in your computer, in your environment, okay? You might have to set up, uh, you know, maybe a language that you have never used before, or maybe you have to go through a whole process, like there's companies that they way how they push into deployment, they have a huge build system, so that might take you some time, right? I think that's, to me, it's always been like the hardest part because you could go to a small company and all you need is the FTP logins, right? Or you might just go into another company where they might not even use Git, okay? But if you're working at a huge company, 
you might see that they have a crazy bill system and, and checks and permissions and this, this, and that, and that you need to have a documentation and there might be a, a, a freaking internal tool to write documentation for everything that you work on. Like to me, that's always like the hardest part to learn all of that. And don't worry, the company is going to give you time to learn all of those things, right? So they might give you up to like three days for you to set up, right? Set up your environment, be comfortable, uh, do small little changes here and there. Nobody's expecting you to be a master. Okay. Now there might be exceptions, but that might be because you are working in a really small company. So if you work in a really small company, they might come in and tell you, Hey, we might need you to start working on this page on day two or day three. Right. And that's because they, they don't have the budget. They, they hire you to hit the ground running. Right. But most companies will give you that extra time to get comfortable. Okay. Now I want you to also understand this. They're not going to put you in the deep end. What do I mean by that? They're not going to give you a very difficult project on your first week, probably not even on your first or even second month. Okay. So always remember that they're going to spoon feed you the projects. They're going to give you the things that you can do. So they're going to go in and test you with different little things like, Hey, uh, can you go ahead and, you know, go to this page? Uh, here's the design from the design team, convert it into HTML, CSS, and then, you know, try to push it into deployment, right? Somebody's going to check your code. And then from there, if everything goes good, cool. They're going to give you something a little bit more difficult. Maybe they might give you a little bit of JavaScript. They might say, Hey, work on this uh, application. There seems to be a bug in here. If they can see that you can do that, then they're going to continue giving you a little bit more responsibility, but that takes time. You need to get comfortable with the code base. You need to get comfortable with how things are done on the company, right? Uh, maybe some style guidelines, some, uh, I don't know, some different ways of how they like to have their code written, right? Uh, what frameworks are they using? What libraries are they using? What libraries they don't use? What frameworks they don't use, right? Because sometimes you might think like, well, I just came from a uh, tutorial on, on, on YouTube and I want to use freaking Vue.js or Riot.js, right? And the company might tell you, hey man, Mm, we don't really use that here, right? Here's React. This is what you need to be using, right? So there's going to be like little situations like that where you're going to want to do something and somebody's going to check you and say, you know what? Sorry, kiddo. We don't use that here. Use this, okay? So your first week is going to be something like that, right? Just learning. But understand this. Nobody's expecting you to become a master or expert in your first week. You actually have almost a whole month to get really, really comfortable inside of your position. Okay. So always keep that in mind and it's fine. If you make a mistake, the only thing is that you have to tell somebody and let them know ahead of time and say, Hey man, I'm having trouble with this or Hey man, um, you know, I don't understand this part. Can you help me out? Uh, Hey, I'm, I'm trying to uh, push some changes online. To, uh, to the website and it's not working for me, etc. Whatever it could be, always go and talk to somebody. Communication is key. One of the worst things that you can do is to shut down on your first week, right? You want to let people know who you are. You want to let people know that you don't know everything. Okay. And, and that's fine. One of the worst things that I've seen from a lot of junior developers is that sometimes they act like they know everything. And then in reality, they don't know anything because a company might be doing things a certain way. And then now you have to go and rewrite your code because you didn't have that communication. It's better to talk to somebody and ask them exactly like, Hey man, what's going on? Hey, can you help me out with this? Hey, do you think this is right? Am I doing it right? Et cetera, or whatever it might be. Right. I know it might seem like you're bothering somebody, but trust me, in the long term is going to be better because one, you get to build a relationship with whoever is in your team. And number two, because now you're not making mistakes. You're actually fixing them before you make them or trying to prevent making a mistake in the future. So 
people are going to really appreciate that. You know, your first week is just your first week. Okay, it's just you setting up your environment, you learning what the company's culture is like, you learning who is the cool, the cool guy, you learning who is the asshole. Like, there's people like that. You know what I'm saying? There's people that you're gonna like, there's people that you're not gonna like, there's people that's gonna like you, and people that's not gonna like you. And that's fine, man. We're humans. We're not supposed to like everybody. We're not supposed to be friendly with everybody. Not everybody's supposed to be your best friend at a job. Just go in, enjoy it, be comfortable, and just keep this in mind. They know what skills you have. They know what you can do, right? They're not gonna throw you in the deep end unless they feel like you are ready for it. Once they throw you in the deep end, it's because you've already proven that you can go there. You can survive, right? They can give you a bigger project, all right? Now, again, you have to understand too that there's going to be different situations. There's smaller companies that are running a different way than from a bigger company. A bigger company might give you three months to get comfortable. A smaller company might need you to get comfortable at a maximum of a week or two weeks. Okay? It all depends on where you work. But just keep that in mind. <laughs> it's your first week. What's the worst that can happen? Okay, so so long as you don't do no sexual harassment or, or something crazy like that, right? It can't get any worse than that. Okay, so you're gonna be fine. All right, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com, guys. Listen, I'm going to put a couple of cool videos right here, man. It should be here, should be here. Okay, go click in there. And if you like this content, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you leave me a comment below. Tell me how's your first week. What did you expect? Were you nervous when you first started working, right? Let me know in the comment section and I'll see you guys later. Super Joe back at it again, codingphase.com.